Hey, what's up everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and today we're taking a look at a pretty powerful docking station. This is the 8-in-1 docking station by Gigamundo. Now, the folks over at Gigamundo wanted to send this over for me to try out and also to share with you all to see if it's something that is a good product that we like and if it's something that we want to sort of put into our tech toolkit. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll take a look at some of the features, give it a try and test it out. So like I said, this is the 8-in-1 docking station from Gigamundo. On the box here, it looks like it has 100 watt power delivery. So that means that if you only have one USB-C port available, that you can go ahead and charge through the hub into the device that you're connecting to. That's why I have my iPad here on the desk. That's what we're gonna use to test it with today. It does have HDMI 4K, one gigabit ethernet, also five gigabit transfer rate for all the USB 3.0 ports. So let's check it out. All right, so like most docking stations, basically in the box, all you get is the device itself because that's kind of all you need, right? So that's your sort of hub, your sort of docking station, your sort of main connection point for everything. And about understanding why you might want a docking station is that imagine you have your device like my iPad here, right? So I have my iPad here and I walk around, I use it all day long. But if I want to sit down and be productive at a desk, all I have to do is come in and hook up one cable and that hooks up every peripheral that I have hooked up to the docking station, including an external monitor, including uh, external keyboard, external mouse, all sorts of stuff that I can do in order to be able to be productive at that desk as easy as possible. Okay, so let's take a look directly at the device itself. Okay, so it does have the standard USB-C connection here. Uh, on the side, it has the PD 100 watt power delivery port, a full size HDMI, not micro or mini or anything like that. That's nice. Uh, one of my favorite things on any sort of docking station is the ability to hardwire Ethernet. Wi Fi is good, but when you sit down at a desk, you might want to do some serious transfer. Like for me, I do a lot of video files, a lot of images, a lot of video files, and I want to be able to transfer those things fast either to my computer or across my network. On the other side here, there are three USB 3.0 ports and the kicker, which made me really interested in then trying this product and sort of sharing this with you is that it has a micro SD port and an SD card port. So I use an external Canon camera in order to sort of film these videos and both of them use SD cards for the video files and they can get pretty big up to, uh, I think about six gigs each. And when I wanna transfer that to my computer, it can be kind of slow. Um, and then if I wanna get them onto my iPad, in case I wanna use any sort of video editing software on my iPad, it's super difficult. It's a pain in the butt. So I basically have to connect to the network and transfer it over and it's all so slow. So that's one of the things that we're gonna to demo today. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the iPad here in front of me and there's my kids, Daniel and Colton, love them to death. <laughs> Um, okay, and we're going to connect the Gigamundo docking station. Now notice that I am currently at about 36% battery. I wanna make sure that that's charging. Now, if I wanted to charge, obviously I have one USB-C port here on the side and I am using it for the hub, but that's where the power delivery comes through. It's a pass-through to be able to charge the device at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, okay? So now that's connected and the iPad says, okay, successfully connected up here in the corner. You can see that. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hook up a USB power delivery. So we're gonna plug this into the power delivery port. And right away I'm charging. Because this particular hub supports up to 100 watt, I'm getting the most I can out of the power delivery to my iPad to be able to charge quickly. And you can see it's currently at 36%. We'll see how it does as we go ahead and test out the rest of the features. Next up on the block, I have a USB 3.0 hard drive enclosure, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort of line each one of these things that we're trying up nicely here so if we can see everything that's hooked up to the hub at once. So one of the nice things about the iPad is that if you're able to hook up to external information or external hard drives or SD cards, then you're able to use it in the file manager. So let's go ahead and hook this up. So now that's hooked up to the USB 3.0. Let's go ahead and jump in here. All right, now um, it looks like what it is, it's in. It's called Untitled here because I don't have any specific title, I guess, on this external hard drive. So as you can see here, basically it has all the files and stuff that um, I have on this hard drive. If I jump in here, you can see that it basically shows all the video files that I have on this hard drive. I'll go ahead and take this file here. I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna go up to on my iPad. 
I'm going to go into VLC and I'm going to go ahead and paste. And it's just that fast. It's copied over. Okay, so now we have an external hard drive working on my iPad. Okay, so the next thing we're going to try out is an external mouse. So that's another thing that I'd like to be able to use on this iPad in particular. So we'll go ahead and hook it up here. And I don't know if you can see that on the screen here, but there's my mouse. So I'm basically able to use that correctly now. So we'll go ahead and set this here. That's another thing we got up and running. And if I wanted to, I would be able to go ahead and hook up this external keyboard, but I'm kind of running out of room here. And the one thing I want to do is make sure I get a chance to show you one of the kickers uh, for the reason that I thought that this was going to be a really good docking station for me is that it has like the built in SD and micro SD card because I use my Canon camera all the time. I have one up here and I have one in front of me. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So I've got my 64 gig card here. I'm going to go ahead and plug it directly into the hub itself. All right, so that shows up as external SSD. I'm going to go into the Canon folder here, and I have a six gig file. So let's go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go to my iPad VLC, and we're going to paste it right here and see how long that takes. Alrighty, so now that that's copied over, it took about 2 minutes and 10 seconds based on the speed of the SD card that I have here. So let's go ahead and see how that worked. I'll jump over here using my mouse. We will look for VLC. Open that up, and you can see all the files that I have here. And here's the file that I copied earlier, so let's click on that. And there it is. Now it's copied over to my iPad. So if I want to do any editing or file manipulation, I have a very easy way to take directly from my camera SD card into the hub itself directly onto my iPad lickety split. Now, not only can it do all of that, you can go ahead and hook up uh, external display. If you want to watch 4K through the HDMI, you can do that. All right, so I've got my external monitor here. I've got my iPad still here. And first thing we will go ahead and do is hook up the HDMI. And my external monitor requires power. So that's where this comes in. So I'll go ahead and hook this up right up to the hub itself too. So as you can see, this is basically just sort of cloning my iPad here. This is an older iPad, so it doesn't support extending the monitor to a second monitor, but it does support cloning if that's something that I want to do. But what I can do now is show you the true power of having something like a hub. I've got everything hooked up here, right? I can basically go ahead and just remove this take my iPad out of the picture, bring my laptop into the scene here. I'll adjust it a little bit so you'll be able to see it. Plug in the hub itself. Now, same, have everything still hooked up to it like before. And as you can see, my audio is recording here on the screen. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and minimize this and show you, I can go here to display settings now. And like I said before, with the iPad, it was just cloning the screen. I will go ahead and extend the displays. Okay. Now in this particular situation, you can see that my main display is on the left and the external display is on the right. In Windows, I can just go ahead and drag this over here and drag it over to the other window. So what I could do is basically go ahead and watch what I'm doing here on the extended the screen, make sure my audio is still recording. If I wanted to pull up another browser here, uh, it's the Gigamundo site, and basically sort of look at some of the features of the hub itself, I could do that. So basically with this device, I've been able to set up two different scenarios. I have my iPad plugged in. If I had a M1 or an M2 iPad, I can actually go ahead and extend the screen up here and use multiple models with an extended screen. But the one I have is only an older iPad, so I was able to clone it or basically duplicate the display, simply unplugged the hub, walked away, got my laptop, plugged in the laptop, extended displays, good to go. You can also hook up, like I said, direct ethernet cable to your ethernet network and start copying files that way. I could have a keyboard hooked up. I can have an external monitor hooked up. I can have everything hooked up. So I'm calling this one a winner. I'm loving this little device. This is a great docking station by Gigamundo. Again, thanks to them for sending this over. If you're interested, I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. 
check that out. Go ahead and check them out too. But again, until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.